6147.4. We're orbiting planet Taurus 2 in the Murasaki 312 Nebula. Our orders? Investigate the disappearance of a science vessel in this area. Search and rescue operations are about to commence. Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Trek Online. I am Luke and unfortunately due to a scheduling mishap, uh, John was not available to record today. So it's just me, but I'm getting started on my own character in Star Trek Online to join John when we ultimately get out of the tutorial zone. So here we are. You guys get to hear me just kind of mumble to myself while we play the game, but I promise I'm going to try and be as... Uh, not boring as humanly possible but here we are uh on the uh bridge of some ship whose name i do not know uh, i am roger wilco intrepid space janitor and it is time to talk to our captain garrett and see what he wants us to do because i wasn't paying very close attention to the opening story so i don't know exactly what it is that i am supposed to be doing right now so lieutenant we've located the wreckage of a crashed ship down there I need to get boots on the ground, find out what's going on. Take a landing party down to the surface, assess the situation, and look for survivors. Okay, that's easy enough. Gotta go down to the surface of a planet and uh, look for survivors. Not so fast. We can't use the transporters due to atmospheric interference. We'll need to take a shuttlecraft down. Use the sensors to locate a safe landing site. Okay, and MacGuffin of the Day says that there is no use of the transporters, which means that for whatever reason we're going to be stuck down there, so... Yay! Always fun. Get over here and just kind of muscle in on this, uh... I don't know, maybe an Ensign? Yep, Ensign Security Officer's uh, workstation so that I can scan things instead of just shouting out an order, as I probably should be able to do, but what you gonna do? find a suitable landing area? You bet your ass I did. Excellent. I've assigned Ensign Mears to your landing party. She's been to Taurus 2 before. Her insight will be quite valuable. Meet up with her and the others in the shuttle bay. Don't forget to grab a phaser in the armory on your way. From what I've read in Jim Kirk's report, Taurus 2 can get a little rough. Okay, so we're already name-dropping characters from TOS. Uh... Not that that's necessarily the worst thing ever. I'm a big fan of the old Star Trek series. Um, perhaps a little bit more so than, uh, than John is. He's more of a uh, next generation fan than I am. I've actually been watching a whole lot of it on Netflix, so that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm hopefully going to be able to use a little bit of that knowledge uh, while talking about uh, the game as we go. But uh, we have an Andorian lady to talk to, so let's see what she has to say. And Centarsi reporting for duty. The captains asked me to make sure you get back in one piece, and I intend to do just that. Nice. Let's see. M-class planet. Barely. The Torians are big, primitive, and quick to anger. I'd keep my phaser handy if I were you. Speaking of which, if you want to follow me to the armory, we can make sure your phaser is properly calibrated. And this is where we get our first gun. Your mini-map shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the mini-map if you are far away from your objectives. Interactable items have a glow around them. Walk up and press F to interact with the phaser to pick it up. Nice. All these old uh, hand phasers with the uh, that look kind of like a, a, a regular old little, like an Uzi or something like that from the old uh, the old series. Oh, nice. There's an actual like shooting range here. I can get down with that. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? There we go. I had to find my uh, my way into the good old-fashioned uh, first-person shooter mode. I uh, I prefer playing in this mode a lot more to the uh, sort of standard MMO style movements that they uh, that they usually kind of want to make you do. Um, just because I don't know, like. One of the one of the cool things that they did with uh, Star Trek Online was they actually allowed you to play the game in sort of this third-person shooter mode, 
Um, and, oh man, there's just, there's no good reason not to make use of it. Because it plays great, it feels really good, and it, it's, it's, you know, it's a, it's a real good departure from the sort of standard bullshit that you usually have to go through with, uh, old fashioned, uh, MMOs, so. And I mean, you know, there's some, there's, there's, there are definitely, conventions that have been sort of set down with the average MMO, but um, I, I like bucking the trend every once in a while. Oh, wow, Tarsi just blasted on past me. I have to talk to Ensign Mears. Ensign Mears, reporting is ordered. I'm ready when you are. Though I can't say I'm happy to see Taurus 2 again. I was one of the so-called Galileo 7, a science team sent to study the Murasaki effect. Our shuttle crashed on Taurus 2. Not all of us made it back to the Enterprise alive. Oh, she's uh, she's an Enterprise alumnus, apparently. Thank you. You can see why I'm reluctant to return to such a place. Well, I'm sorry to say, but you are the best lady for the yes, job. of course you're right, Lieutenant. I am a Starfleet officer, and I will perform my duties. You can count on me. That red shirt says that you will die in the line of duty and you'll enjoy it. <laughs> so let's do this thing. Wow. Thing just fucking looks like it's made of cardboard. Copernicus! That was drawn on with a fucking red marker. And it also appears to be the only shuttle that we have that is actually named. Ah, good gravy. Like, I know that this is this is sort of designed to look like old-fashioned Star Trek, but... Oh, man, they, they took out all the stops. It's wonderful. Wow. I'll take a shit ton of XP for doing absolutely nothing. Why not? This is, uh... Okay, well, this guy, uh... Crewman Flores? Oh, I thought we had a Flores in John's game, an Elisa Flores. I wonder if there's any connection. I feel like there's gotta be, really. Let's see, uh, see what Mears needs us to do. It's just as grim as I remember it here. My skin is crawling. I can't help but feel like the creatures are out there, watching us, waiting to attack. Probably. Right. Okay. It appears the ship crashed somewhere north of here. There are two paths from here that lead to the crash site, and there may be survivors on both. I recommend you take Alpha Team along the northwestern path, and I'll take Beta to the northeast. We'll rendezvous at the main crash site. Okay. Do I have a team? Remember, your mini map shows you where your I do. Are, oh, you, Flores. You get to be my red shirt. This is going to be great. And I keep the, uh, uh, yes, Anson Tarsi, the, uh, the Andorian lady, gets to follow me around as well and probably die in the line of duty. This is. This is going to be oh, it's going to be the best kind of is shit that show. A warp nacelle? Wow, big. Oh wow, yeah, over there. Anomalies. These things, um, they're bigger when you're not inside the ship. Definitely Federation tech here. What's left of a shuttlecraft's coolant assembly, according to my tricorder. I thought it was my tricorder. Alright. There's a crash. And we gotta find out who is the survivor of the crash. There's your crash shuttle. What's left of it anyway? Look, someone's over there. I think they're hurt. Let's give him a hand. This guy is quick to go into the whole hands clasp behind the back stance as well. Oh, there we go. Just gonna just gonna bust that weapon out, are we? Dr. Phineas Grogan. Oh man. 
That name. Can be interrupted by I'm under attack. By. Can I have a word, Lieutenant? Okay. What's up? Lieutenant, you won't be able to get close enough to revive him while that thing's venting plasma. Those valves should shut down the vents, though. Okay. Or I could I could have probably just crawled. But I guess you want me to learn how to use stuff in the environment. So that's cool. You know, since he's not being hit by the, the plasma directly. Nope. I'm still under attack, so apparently that was not enough. Are we... are we not still... Oh, okay, we gotta buy here too. Open the plasma vent... Boom! So yeah, I, I consider myself a bit of a Trekkie. I've kind of... I've been watching this series since I was kind of a little kid. I wasn't... I'm not quite old enough to have watched the original series when it came out, but I got the whole Next Generation experience when I was younger. Picard is kind of my captain for that reason. Um, although I do enjoy the original series. I remember I mean, our first TV was the black and white, so <laughs> infer from that what you will. Uh, I did get some exposure to the original series when it was being rerun and so on during my childhood. So, you know, I, I, I spent a good amount, a goodly amount of time sort of enjoying that, but, uh, yeah. Thank you. We, we, we need to move. Those things, they're out there. Of course there are things out there. Oh, Flores. I called it. Did I fucking call it or what? The red shirt. It wins. What do they feed these things? Never mind. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. That thing went right fucking through me. I am... I am surprised that I'm not super dead right now. Oh, and I just kind of wandered off, because that's the way that this fight went. <laughs> Was there not supposed to be a little bit more of a fight? Like, where are the, where do these guys go? I'm confused. I'm really fucking confused right now as to what... Like... Did they just kill me and then leave? Like, but... And Flores is gone. I kind of would have... It would have been nice if they'd left the sort of impaled corpse here to... For us to spend a little bit of time fawn well, fawning over is really not the correct word for that. But mourning. Mourning the loss of a of, of valued red shirt. But... I'm Dr. Phineas Grogan. Part of a research Grogan. team studying the Murasaki effect. Well, I was before the ship crashed. I was looking for supplies when that thing roared. Got distracted and and then that plasma coil blew. Damn near killed me. You're telling me we should get those supplies back to camp. Dr. Mueller's probably worried sick about it by now. Yay. Oh, they, um, there must have been somebody on the writing team that understood that Grogan is like another word for a for a big smelly turd, but I guess nobody thought it was a problem. I mean, he's he's most likely a bit character, hopefully with a name like that. But yay! Okay, this guy's gonna continue leading us in the direction we need to go. So. We are going to continue on our uh, our trek through the stars next week, continuing on through this Agents of Tomorrow mission. I see Dr. Mueller off in the distance. Wait a minute, was I not just following? Oh no, I was following Dr. Grogan. Right, this is making fun of his name. 
So, yep, next week we're going to continue onward. Uh, I'm going to see if I can bring John in, which means I'm going to kind of save and stop right here. But uh, thank you very much for watching. As always, it's an immense pleasure to have you here. I know seeing my solo commentary game is definitely not on point. So you'll be glad to hear that there will be more than just me next week. So thank you for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow, as always. Take care.